Happy Easter, everybody. Jesus is alive. Today is the day to celebrate and be glad. And even if it's not going to contain all the things we're used to doing on Easter, it is still such a special and wonderful day. So I'm going to read the conclusion of our run up to Easter today. When Jesus is resurrected, Jesus comes back to life. We're going to read it out of our Bible storybook. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A huge rock was placed right in front of it. But early in the morning, on the third day after Jesus died, a mighty angel went to the cave and rolled away the stone from the entrance. And then, get this, Jesus stepped out. He was no longer dead. He was alive again. God brought Jesus back to life. A little later that same morning, two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, and a woman named Mary Magdalene, came to see the cave where Jesus had been buried. But when they got there, they could see that the big stone had been rolled away and Jesus was no longer there. Peter went inside the cave and found Jesus' clothes lying on the stone where his dead body had been placed. Peter and John went back home and wondered what to do. Mary Magdalene stayed behind. When she went up to the cave, she saw two angels. One of them said to her, why are you looking for Jesus here? Jesus is no longer here. He has risen from the dead and is alive again, just like he told you. Mary believed what the angel said and she was no longer sad because she knew Jesus was alive. Then Jesus himself spoke to Mary and told her the truth. He was alive. Mary was so happy. She went back to tell everybody the wonderful news. This is the day that we know as Easter and we celebrate it joyfully. Later that evening, while the disciples were together in a house, Jesus came into the room and talked with them. The disciples touched him to make sure he was really alive. But now they were no longer sad. They were full of joy and happiness. After this, Jesus showed himself to many other people too. All people who saw Jesus knew for sure that he was alive again and that God had raised him from the dead. Jesus knew that he would rise again after death and he knew that the story didn't end with the cross. And we can all be so glad that God's plan went the way that it did and that Jesus died for us and rose for us. I think it's important to always mention that because so often you hear it spoken of as Jesus died for your sins. Jesus died for your sins and he did. He died to take away all those bad choices that we make. So that way when God looks at us, he doesn't see those things. But he also rose for us too. He rose again. And he's still with us. He's never left us alone. Even though we can't see him, he's always here. And it doesn't matter if you're hurt or scared. He's always with us and he's always going to take care of us. So, in our Bible story, Jesus is back with his disciples, his friends. They are so happy. And we're going to read some more stories about things that Jesus is going to do before he goes back up to heaven, where he is now with God the Father. So, we will read more about that later. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. <laughs>